Let's explore how Emacs can navigate the files and open buffers. In my presentation, I will show you. Uh, it's based on uh, using several extension models. The first is Helm, and you can install it from the packages menu. And from Helm, we also use the Silver uh, search engine, and we also use Projectile, and also Projectile with Helm and Z3. Okay, so you can install those from the packages menu. Uh, let's start from the very standard things. To open the file in Emacs, you just use Ctrl X, Ctrl F. And so then uh, you can type it and use, for example, tab to autocomplete and twice tab to show the files. And you can use autocomplete. And that's pretty standard. Uh, how can you mm, look at the structure of your uh, project? You can use the Z3 model, for example, or, or Nea3 model, or any tree model in Emacs. There are several of them. So you can look at the files, you can press the Enter, you can press the space to go inside of the file, and so on. So that's how the tree working. Uh, you can also use the DIRD. DIRD is uh, internal Emacs uh, file manager, and it works like file manager. Before I used uh, Minet Commander for many years, but then I found that Emacs can do it the same much better. So I completely switch it and even remove it um, in a commander from my computer to test that my assumption is correct and that everything works very fine. And I never like return it to midnight commander after this. So you can copy files and it does it asynchronously. You can delete files. You can do many other things. You, for example, you can select select like find all the files with the specific mask in the directory and you can do something like search over the files which contain specific string, for example, MySQL. Okay, so some files contain this and for example we can query replace this with MySQL with MySQL. Let's do it. You can replace several files, then stop and then save. And then we can see from our version control system that those files are changed and we can see the diffs. And of course we can just undo, undo this changes because they are not needed. Okay, next is about how you can, uh, for example, uh, the main advantage from, for the projects is that when you are inside of the project, you can quickly find the files in this project. Yeah, I'm usually, usually using the Helm for this. So I can, for example, navigate to all node files in the project which contains the node line, like node, node name. Or I can navigate to all the files with my skill name. Or I can I can do anything else like Docker files. So you can refer it by name and then you can also type more. You can type all the files which are named Docker and main and you can quickly switch to this. That's about Helm projectile, but you can also search in the file contents very quickly by the Silver search engine. So you can just use this, this is Ctrl C and then S, S is Helm projectile, AG, AG is Silver Search, and then you can, for example, find all the files which contain PID references, and you see it almost immediately. So it's so fast that you cannot, I cannot believe my eyes how fast it works. Okay, next is um, standard air grab. So you just grab, it is the same as Silver Search, but more static question you can, so. 
in all files for the and specify the directory and you will see all the entries of some word in the all files okay uh, you can also also I want to explain how you navigate between the open buffers okay so the standard is uh, about control X control B but I usually I don't use it a lot because there is a better alternatives so you can use I search external module and this module allows you to do more things like sorting, filtering, filter groups and so on. So for example, pressing S N I'm sorting or oh, S F I'm sorting on file name or S mode I'm sorting by mode and so on. So I can quickly do this. And you can also do like marking and then saving or removing those files and so group operations on the open and buffers. So it makes makes it very fast. Um, okay, and uh, you can also use the Helm and also type all the files with the name which are open currently, and so you can quickly switch. But in the most of the cases, you need to switch between the files which you recently opened. So I am using recentif, and then you can type recentif and then some just either select from the list or type the name you want to to narrow down the search and switch this buffer uh, that's very quickly how you can navigate files and how can you navigate open buffers in emacs and i'm completely sure that undoubtedly tell that that emacs provides more methods on navigation than any other editor on the earth so it's up to you to choose the optimal method for your current situation but you will have a lot a lot of choice here uh, let's try it <laughs> 